The Boys is one of my favorite TV shows of the last couple of years. I feel like it has such an amazing and fresh perspective on the genre of superheroes that I highly enjoyed. And like Invincible, it kind of breaks the mold in all the best ways. It has a lot of great moments, great character development, and it's kind of a parody of the superhero genre that does a lot of great things. And that's why I was so excited to see the new spinoff Gen V. And I really, really wanted to like this show so many ways, but in the end, I feel like I didn't really get it as much. I feel like there were so many things that I wish could have been more like the original series, and today I'm going to explain why. Also, I wanted to make this video because I felt like I was kind of going against the grain here. A lot of people compared it to the first show. They say they were on equal terms, if not better. And I got to say that I can see where they're coming from, but I don't think it was that way. I don't think it was that good in a lot of different perspectives. And, and why I believe that this spinoff could have worked better with other concepts, maybe with other different characters, uh, like better development. And if there's a season two, how I think it could be improved. So first of all, the premise of Gen V is very different from the original The Boys. I feel like this one has a lot more focus on like younger characters that are more unexperienced with their powers. They're kind of like these college uh, kids that kind of balance their own uh, superhero life with like all the usual shenanigans of college. Something that I relate to a lot because I'm a college student and there are a lot of things in this uh, series that made a lot of sense. For example, there's a lot of elements that make it like a high school co uh, slash college comedy with a lot of different elements like that. Like for example, high school drama, uh, love interests and those kind of things like for example people which has become out of control and there's like a lot of party scenes that remind me of those kind of movies but at the same time I feel like there were a lot of things that I didn't like and I gotta talk about this a lot but I feel like the my main issue with Gen V was the characters I feel like a lot of the main characters like just didn't do it for me for example I loved Marie Moreau the main uh, protagonist of the series well you could really call her the protagonist because she has kind of shares the same amount of screen time with other characters also I really liked Emma's character and also Jordan Lee's character. I feel like those were two very interesting, especially Jordan with his and her arc in this story. I feel like it was really cool and also has a lot of really important themes. And I just liked it. I feel like those characters were really good. However, that's where it really ended for me. I feel like some of the others like Kate and Andrea just didn't do it for me. I feel like they were really badly written characters. And something else that I didn't like about the show is just how each one of these characters is kind of an asshole in a lot of ways. Like, I mean, some of them go through some really important character changes that kind of like uh, put them in new perspectives. They kind of open up uh, during the course of the series. But I feel like a lot of them just don't really learn their lessons. Like, it's just kind of weird. I don't know how to explain this. But I was just groaning like at a lot of scenes and I feel like they don't have like the same character development as some of the others in the boys where there's a, a kind of like a fine balance between, for example, Butcher can be really a big asshole at times, but also there are scenes that go deeper into his backstory. And I feel like that same level of like emotional connection with these characters was just not really well done, especially characters like Andre. I just feel like uh, it would just didn't do it for me. I didn't think it was really that interesting as some of the other characters from the original series, such as Huey, such as M.M. I feel like it just could have been better in a lot of ways. And I say that because this series maintains a lot of the same writing from the boys, like some of the same world development, like kind of like the same uh, kind of like satire, like like really raunchy, really like dark humor, that, that kind of stuff. It's just kind of maintained throughout the series. But also I feel like this one, because of the college context, there are a lot of really over-sexualized scenes, a lot of really uncomfortable scenes. And I have to say, I'm kind of biased. I feel like the original The Boys show, it was just better because of like uh, more adult characters, like more mature characters in this one. Because of the college setting, I just felt like it was in a more immature context. I don't know how to describe it, but that's just kind of the feeling I got from it. Some of the references I liked, there's a lot of really interesting development in the boys universe. For example, the whole story with the woods I thought was really interesting and would lead to a really interesting side plot with these characters. But I just felt like it didn't really do that for me in a lot of the same ways. I liked how you could see like, it, well, this is a spoiler for the ending. So you haven't seen the show Gen V. Don't watch, don't, don't listen to what I'm about to say. But in the end, you see uh, scenes with Homelander and Butcher which have some really interesting implications for season two. I think there's going to be a crossover in season four or maybe five. So that's going to be really interesting to see. And overall, I feel like with the source material, they did an amazing job. So this is something I'm going to discuss right now is the source material from the comic, uh, The Boys. So right now, I just finished the second omnibus, which is has the scenes which have the Godolkin College, but it's a really, really weird, different setting. The comic basically covers the story in a very limited way, in a very superficial way. And I can rant about the comic all day because I feel like it's just really bad compared to the show. I feel like the showrunners just took the whole boys concept and just ran with it and did something amazing with the original uh, three seasons. But basically in the story, Huey has to infiltrate this college full of like superhero 
uh, college kids and just like kind of like blend in and basically use that to gather information on like the soups as part of a mission he has to do for the boys. And I feel like that story was just really filled with a lot of the usual vulgarity from the comics and there was just really not much to it. So I feel like Gen V at least took that like hold side plot and used it in a way that really worked in a lot of ways. And like I said before, it didn't work in a lot of different ways. So anyways, those are some of my thoughts about Gen V. I feel like it, it, the show was decent. I, th I feel like I enjoyed my time with it in the first few episodes. It started to drag on and the ending, I feel like uh, capped it off in a good way. That kind of sets up the season four of The Boys because it ties a lot into the like, for example, the Victoria Newman storyline, which I think she's a really great character and some interesting other aspects of the this universe that they're trying to craft. So anyways, overall, I would give it like a 72 out of 100. It's not perfect, and I definitely didn't enjoy it like the, the other series, but I definitely see like a lot of people how they can like it. So anyways, those are pretty much all my thoughts on the show. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay on the lookout for new videos. So anyways, that's everything for today. See you guys later.